Hey, what's up guys, Ryan Master here. Today I'm bringing you a video, my first mail day video. So I got three packages here. Um, still having issues trying to find cards at my local Targets and Walmarts. Um, I can't find any packs or boxes right now for basketball. It's just a lot of baseball, football, magic, Pokemon, uh, wrestling, pretty much everything but basketball. So it seems like basketball is a pretty hot item right now. I looked on Amazon, looked on eBay to see what blaster boxes are going for from Mosaic and stuff. And, you know, of course, everything's kind of marked up. So I kind of went hunting on um, individual cards I've been looking for. So this is my first mail day. I purchased uh, three items here, so three different packages. So I'm going to start off with the middle one here and kind of show you guys what I got um, over the weekend. So without further ado, you know what time it is. It's mail time. Sure, let's do this. All right, so package number one. Okay, very nice. I like how, you know, they send it with the cardboard packing to keep it straight. So package number one here is Shea Gildress Alexander Pink Ice Prism. So if you watched my other videos um, when I started doing uh, unboxings of like the 2000, 1819 uh, cards. I have never landed a Shea Gildress Alexander rookie, not even a base, which is really weird. I did open a lot, opened like a, a retail box of Prism, did about maybe five or six Panini uh, threads, blaster boxes, did some Chronicles, um, Donruss, everything, and I just never pulled a Shea Gildress. So I saw this one on eBay. I paid uh, $60 for it, so it's not too bad. It's not graded or anything. Um, there's a little tape right here, so kind of distract that. But other than that, you know, when I was looking at the card, it looks like it's in you know, pretty good condition, not too bad. You know, corners are sharp. Um, do have a little edging right there going on at the top. But um, yeah, pretty excited about this one. This one's my first... Uh, Shea Gildress Alexander, so I figure, you know what, I'm just going to kind of step it up and get a, a parallel of his uh, rookie card. So I ended up getting the pink ice right here. So that's my first package. Uh, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know. You know, um, I'm kind of explaining how much I paid for these cards. So if you feel like I overpaid or uh, I scored a great deal, just, you know, let me know on, you know, which card I did good on and which card I didn't do well on again this is my first um it's my first mail day so package number two okay so i'm excited about this one right here i've never dealt with uh psa beckett you know any of the grading um cards you know everything i have are just pulls and i just put them in either uh, top loaders or may cases so I have never submitted a PSA, nor have I ever owned one. So this one here is probably my first one officially for a graded PSA card. Uh, of course, Shea Gildress Alexander. Um, kind of see the theme here. This one was a grade 9 mint condition. So, you know, obviously gem mint 10s are going a lot higher and more expensive um because of the you know of course the rating but this one here wasn't too bad i picked this one up for 80 dollars or actually 85 i'm sorry 85 um on ebay grade nine uh shea gildress alexander silver prism so the cool thing about it is you know being uh new to or kind of like reintroducing myself to card collecting again since the night early 90s um you know grading was really not around or you know available so this is pretty cool to kind of have my first psa graded card here um of course it's great that it's shea gildress this guy's gonna be pretty awesome i felt like you know big time clipper fan here and he's been doing well in okc and i see a bright future for him so i'm starting to pick up his rookie cards that's why i was a little disappointed I never pulled any not even bases but uh yeah this is my psa right here uh, eighty-five dollars. So let me know. Let me know how I did on this one. Um, pretty excited about it being my first PSA, uh, and 
a Shea Gildress. So we got two Shea's right here, a Prism. We got the pink eyes. We got the silver graded. And last but not least, this is my third package right here. And I'm pretty excited about this one. And you guys will see why. So again, um, excellent cardboard uh, packaging to keep the keep the cart stiff, so it doesn't uh, doesn't bend or break or snap in half in the padded envelope. So this one here, you're gonna see, is one I'm really excited about because this one kind of takes me back back in the days when I was collecting. So this one here, oh, very nice. It even comes like in a in a bag or sleeve for the case. This one here is a PSA mint condition, grade nine, 1992 Stadium Club Michael Jordan Bean Team. This card definitely took me back because I was collecting around this time. 92, 93 was, you know, let's get the Shaq rookies, let's get the Alonzo Morning rookies, and of course, uh, Beam Team was a uh, uh, insert that was a hot insert, you know, at that time. You know, you average pull, I think, was one per box, and then there was quite a bit of uh, Beam Team cards you can, you can get. You know, you can get anywhere from, you know, Jeff Hornacek, uh, Shaq, Jordan, Pippen, Barkley, Robinson, Ewing, and so forth. But um, I never had a Michael Jordan. And this one here is my first. You know, right now, Michael Jordan cards are hot because of the, you know, the Last Dance documentary being out. And, um, you know, his, his inserts from the 90s are going up. This one, uh, the Scoring Kings insert in the 93, 94 Flair Ultras have been pretty hot. But uh, yeah, very excited about this pull right here. Or not pull, but very excited about this uh, this purchase. So, you know, you can tell it's like an older PSA grading, but nevertheless, graded. So the cool thing about that is like, you know, um, again, it's like I don't have to submit it for grading. It's already been taken care of. So, man, this card I was excited about getting. Um, you know, I've been seeing grade nines go for around 400 I mean, some as high as 549, which I feel like is a little too high, but I don't know. Like, I think because of demand being there, I've seen grade 10s up in the thousands. So I actually got this one right here for $280. So I've never paid that much for a card, like a single card. But, you know, I figure based on what the other grade nines are going for right now, like in the 300 range. Um, the one I was uh, lost out on actually sold for like $324. Um, so for getting this one, you know, at a way cheaper price was, you know, I was pretty excited about. So this here has to be, you know, probably one of my best cards, you know, of my collection, of my recent collection, I should say. So pretty excited about this uh, individual purchase. So there you have it, guys. Um, probably going to do some more mail days. I have some more uh, cards on the way. Um, as soon as they come in, I'll probably do another video and upload them just to show you exactly you know, what I'm getting. And I just want to share the experience of purchasing cards individually. Uh, interested in getting your thoughts about, again, whether or not you know I did good or did bad. Um, I'm kind of gauging it based on what other listings are going for. And try not to pay too, too much of a premium. But let me know, you know, how I did. Um, this one here I got for 85 for the graded, uh, you know, graded mint, uh, grade 9 for the Shea Gildress uh, Silver Prism. I just got this um, ungraded uh, pink ice uh, prism right here. And I got the beam team right here for like 280 so again guys drop a comment in the below let me know how i did on these three purchases if you felt like i overpaid underpaid or got a good deal um or pretty much pay what you know is kind of like the norm right now so other than that guys um that's pretty much it for the video um thank you for watching it and you know going through the first mail day with me i hope you had a hope you enjoyed the video and the content i'm hoping to come out with some more interesting cool stuff for you guys 
Um, again, packs and boxes have been pretty light. Uh, it's hard to get my hands on some things, but I'm doing my best. With that being said, wherever you are, whatever time it is, just want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I hope everyone's staying safe during this pandemic, and I hope um, everything's going well. And I, again, thank you for watching the video. Go, you know, subscribe, drop a like, and let me know in the comments too. Again, if I did good and anything that you feel like I need to improve on, I'm more than happy to hear about the feedback. Until then, I'll see you on the next one, guys.